Hello, hello everybody, it's Grill God Game, and welcome to another Gander episode. Today, I am checking out the demo for Gilded Hearts, which is currently in its Kickstarter. So I was reached out to by Gallium Games, the Gallium Games team, and they asked if I would consider checking out their demo, and I was like, absolutely, this sounds great. So that is what I'm going to try and do for you guys today. So, um... The story for Gilded Hearts is, all things considered, Julian, name is changeable, lives a pretty normal life. He does online university work, is hopelessly single, but has a habit of crushing on cute boys, and spends most of his free time on a fantasy MMO, Lost Heroes. Little does he know that Lost Heroes will be what pulls him into a new budding romance. Whether he pursues the arrogant pretty boy, Guillermo, his char charismatic roommate Casper, the coy store clerk Archie, or his mysterious guildmate Verdant, join Julian on an unexpected journey of self-discovery, heartache, and love. So from that description, you might have guessed this is a boy's love visual novel. And we've got our main character and our four love interests. So let's jump into the demo and see what we're getting involved with. The, uh, the concept reminds me a lot of Realister, so I'm like, yeah, I haven't had some Realister vibes in a hot minute. Let's, uh, let's jump into this. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, custom character. I love that. Can I just make my brother? That would be hilarious. <laughs> he would hate me forever. <laughs> All right, so far, this, this actually looks a lot like my brother already. Hmm. He likes blue. Give him a blue shirt. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> um. Oh, and you can even pick your uh, MMO character name too. I'll stick with the. Um, I think I'll stick with the the uh, default. Julian and Ellen D. Okay. I like it. Finalize. Oh, hello, guild chat. Raro. Nice job tonight, everyone. Yeah, that was sick. Congrats on the new staff, Innes. Thanks. LND, dude, you're damaged. WTF? <laughs> yeah, I was trying out something Verdant suggested. Credit goes to him, really. Not at all. You were great. I'm heading off. I'll upload the logs later. Great work, team. Night all. See ya. Alright. I lean back in my chair and rub my eyes tiredly. It's only 10 p.m., but I've got an early class tomorrow. Just as I think about logging off, though, I hear a ping from my computer. Computer? Hello? It's funny. Let me do enter for the first one, but not the next one. It's my close friend and longtime officer in our Lost Heroes Guild, Verdant. Hey, how did you find that? Alright, gotta click. Gotta get used to this. As much as I really should go to sleep, I can't resist replying. Pretty good, TBH. To start with, I was worried we wouldn't get it down, but we made quick progress. Thanks again for recommending that build. It was lit. No worries. I just saw it featured on this content creator I follow, so thought I'd pass it along. Good man. I'm gonna tweak it a little, I think, but definitely using it as a base from now on. Cool. You up to anything much for the rest of tonight? <sighs> well, knowing me, I'm not a very responsible person, so... Nothing really. Just getting psyched up for class in the morning. 
We're starting our first big project. Oh, yeah, you changed your major, right? Yup, I'm encoding 101. But I'm starting later than everyone else, so I'm way behind. Then you best go get some sleep. We'll chat tomorrow. Sure. We still have to clear out that polar bear cave for your gem quest, right? Sure, but it can wait if you're busy. I think my brother is coming home tomorrow anyway. So I might have to help him out around the house. He's been away again. Yeah, just for the weekend. Ask? Where was he this time? I don't know. Out of the country, I think. He doesn't really tell me. Anyway, you've really got to get some sleep. Yeah, you're right. Night. Speak tomorrow. Good night. Click, click. And we're out. I shut down the PC and head out of my room, grabbing the empty glass from my desk. I'll wash it up and then get ready for bed. Just as I'm approaching the little kitchenette in my shared accommodation, though, I hear the front door open. It's my roommate, Casper, back from his audition. He's a theater major in his final year. It's just the two of us here in this little off-campus place. I got moved here a few weeks ago when I switched majors, and Casper came the week after me. We haven't spoken much since he moved in. I'm still not sure why he got put with a freshman. I wish I could get to know him better. He seems to be really friendly, so I'm hoping we get to speak more. Doesn't hurt that he's easy on the eyes, either. Tonight he's looking pretty dejected. I wonder if something bad happened. Oh, that's Casper, okay. That's, that's pretty cool, a little speech bubble. Uh, for Casper. Dur, 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 dur. Hey, Julian. Ah, oh, there we are! So cute. Hi, how are you? Well, honestly, not great. I just completely threw that audition. Oh man, what happened? So close, my goodness. He walks further into the room, pulling his shoes off and flops onto the couch. This is a really interesting way to have dialogue with speech bubbles and stuff. I like it. It's, uh, it's, it's different. I do like that quite a bit. Ugh, I just got all up in my head about it. This is the dream, you know. I'm so close, and then I think about how this one could be the one, and it just gets me all jittery. I'm just not in the right headspace. That sounds rough. He nods. I feel sorry for him. I haven't seen him look this down before. It must have been a really important audition. I'm nosy. <laughs> I'm playing a nosy person. Do you want to talk about it? Honestly, not really. I want to just forget it ever happened. I glance at the clock and apologize in advance to my future self. You want some ice cream? You look like you could use some. Any flavor you like. My treat. He smiles slightly. I suppose I've not had my ice cream moment yet since breaking up with Danny. Yeah, go on then. Neapolitan if they have it. Strawberry will do if they don't. <laughs> Neapolitan, what is wrong with you? <laughs> A fellow Neapolitan enjoyer, I see. He grins. It's the best, isn't it? Maybe I'll let you share if you're lucky. I laugh and elbow him. <laughs> Thanks, Julian. My pleasure. What are roommates for? 
I grab my coat off the hook by the door and slip my feet into my comfortable shoes. See you in five. Heading out the door and across the road, I make my way to the convenience store around the corner. It's nice living in the city. Everything is so close by. Hello. The little buzzer greets me as I head inside. Archie is behind the counter as usual on his laptop. I often come in here late after finishing a raid and he's always on the night shift. We've never exchanged words beyond the basic pleasantries, but I think he's really hot. <laughs> a man of culture, I see. I locate the ice cream quickly. Luckily, they have Neapolitan, and grab myself an energy drink and a bag of chips. I'm going to need the boost in the morning. On my way to the counter, I notice a guy standing really close to the alcohol and looking around. He looks a little shifty, so I keep my eye on him. Archie looks up as I approach and stands, ready to scan my items. Hey. Hey, will this be all? Yeah, thanks. I'm still watching the shady person out of the corner of my eye. He moves too suddenly to be natural and keeps looking behind himself nervously. I'm pretty sure he's aware. This time I, I will not. I'm not- I'm nosy, but I'm not a sharer. I'm pretty sure Archie's got this covered. Every nerve is screaming at me to keep my mouth shut. It's none of my business. But I can't stand by and do nothing. It's just not in my nature. <laughs> so you can either tell him or you, you tell him loudly or quietly. <laughs> I speak to Archie in a low voice. Um, excuse me. I think that guy over there might be lifting your beer. His eyes widen and shift past me to the perpetrator. You're right, he is. Hey, you! Dang. Vaults over the counter. Go get him, I guess. He vaults over the counter and runs toward the figure. The shoplifter panics and makes a break for the door. Alright. Well. Before I can even think about it, my feet move instinctively and I bar his way. He skids to a stop, swearing, but before he can turn around, Archie is on him. He tackles him to the floor and pulls four cans of beer out of his pockets. Alright, well apparently Archie was not on top of that. But now he is. Get off me! I was going to pay for those! Sure you were, buddy. Get out and be grateful I'm not calling the cops. Fuck you, dickhead! The would-be thief stands up, spits at Archie's feet, and runs off. Pleasant fellow. Thanks for your help there. What's your name? I've seen you in here before, I think. It's Julian. I live around the corner from here, so I come in now and again. Nice to meet you, Archie. Likewise. You saved my ass back there. Anything that gets stolen on my shift comes out of my paycheck, so that would have been a real pain. Thanks. N no problem. I'm so taken aback by his gorgeous strawberry blonde hair and warm eyes that I'm struggling to get the words out. I mean, fair. This is bad. He grins at me and I feel like I might faint. I owe you one. Let me know if I can ever repay the favor, okay? Sure. I'll see you around. I pay for my items, and with a final wink, Archie waves goodbye. <laughs> oh, you know our boy. How do people as cute as him even exist? How do my lips not work sometimes? <laughs> people. <laughs> I am also taken in by the strawberry blonde hair, apparently. Yay! I can't wait to cash in that favor. Yeah! Wink. Wink. Before long, I'm back home. 
Casper is still sitting on the couch, idly watching television. I grab two spoons, kick my shoes off, and slump on the couch beside him. Hello. You'll never guess what happened to me. Attacked by a bear. Almost. Caught a shoplifter. Whoa, really? I open the tub and offer him a spoon. He takes it and we dig in. Yeah, I'm surprised I kept my cool. Especially with the guy behind the counter being... Well... To be honest, super hot. This is my favorite face so far. I just want to point this out. This is great. Casper raises an eyebrow at this. Corner shop guy. I suppose I can see it, if you're into blondes. Didn't know you liked guys, though. Yeah, I've been out since I was about 15. Cool, same here. I came out pretty early, though I suppose it was fairly easy for me with a background in theater. People are more surprised when you're straight. I chuckle at that. <laughs> I'm lucky. No traumatic family reaction, no lost friends. My whole life just kind of carried on. You're right that we're the lucky ones. My life was pretty perfect, to be honest. At least until I met Danny and everything went tits up. He pauses, his smile dimming. But that's a story for another time. I've had enough of being maudlin tonight. Tell me about that online game you play. I hear you talking to your friends all the time. I'm surprised to hear that Casper is interested. He doesn't seem the gaming type. But I decide to humor his change of subject. It's called Lost Heroes. Have you heard of it? There was a club for it in my high school. Beyond that, no. It's an MMORPG. Basically, you play online with a bunch of other people. You've got all your standard fantastical archetypes. Wizards, warriors, thieves, you name it. You create your own character and do quests to level up, earn cool armor, gain reputation with the city folk, and kill final bosses. For that, you need a raid group of 25 people, and we have to talk on comm, so that's probably what you're hearing. Sounds pretty epic, to be honest. I was always into those kinds of stories as a kid. I guess I just never found my way into playing video games. Do you think maybe you could teach me to play? It sounds like fun. <laughs> really? Doesn't seem like your type of thing, Mr. Theater Boy. I mean, dope! I'm pretty flabbergasted, but take this as a good opportunity to get to know my roommate better. And the guild could always use more members. Alright, sure. I'll send you the link to download it. Do I have your number? Smooth. I don't think so. Here, give me your phone. He adds his number to my phone and hands it back with a grin. Cool. I'm looking forward to this, Julian. It's been a while since I picked up anything new. I should head to bed now, though. It's been a long day. I deliberately avoid glancing at the clock. I don't even want to know how tired I'm going to be tomorrow. Probably for the best. Putting the remaining ice cream in the freezer, I turn the television off, leave the spoons in the sink, and bid Casper goodnight as we enter our respective rooms. It'll definitely be fun teaching him to play. Perhaps I'll get Verdant in on it too. He's always online and has been playing for years, so he knows the game better than anyone. It might be nice for him to meet Casper, too. Other than me, he doesn't really have any friends. Sounds like a plan! I settle into bed, energy drink and university laptop by my bedside, ready for the morning. Alright. My buzzing alarm wakes me up and I scramble to turn it off. It's far too early. With a groan, I pull myself out of bed and traipse into the bathroom to make myself presentable. The professor insists on us being on camera when we talk. 
I finish up shaving and brushing my hair, then find some relatively clean clothes. I'm at my laptop with the virtual classroom loaded up with just seconds to spare. Cool, cool, cool. Professor Hodge. Good morning, class. I hope you're all excited because today you're going to be starting your first project. Now, I've put you into groups of four to begin with. Please go into your separate chat rooms and greet each other. Following the professor's instructions, I enter chat room B. I haven't been in the class long, and I only know a few of my course mates, so I'm hoping that I've been put with someone I speak to. Soon enough, three others join the chat. Warren, a quiet guy who doesn't really interact with anyone. Lucy, an outgoing girl I've spoken to once or twice, with half blue and half pink hair who loves wearing Harley Quinn tops. Checks out. And... Oh no. Anyone but this guy. Must be our last boy. Wow, really? Professor Hodge put me with you. Obviously, he thinks you're failing and needs me to pull your grades up. There's no way he'd stick me here otherwise. Guillermo. <laughs> He's just an absolute bellend. <laughs> absolute, I tell you. Um, hmm. Do I want to give him the benefit of the doubt? Or do we just want to be like, he's a dick? <laughs> I'm gonna flip a coin for this one. Why not? Bring in the coin. Heads for the top, tails for the bottom. Oh, yeah! Heads, ah! Fun. Thank you, coin. He's been a pompous prick since day one, and nobody can stand the guy. He thinks he's better than everyone else here and won't work with anyone. The kind of guy you step out of the way to avoid in public. Internally groaning, I try to concentrate on the assignment. Each one of us has to create code for a different part of a functioning website. I focus diligently on my section, ignoring the pings from the chat for a while. When I look back at it, it's almost all Guillermo messaging. <laughs> of course it is. Aren't you finished yet? You're so all so slow. This is unreal. Lucy sends me a private message, which I click on. <laughs> Lucy gets it. <laughs> I can't with him. I'm sorry. He's literally the worst. Yeah, I know what you mean. Really hope we aren't stuck with him all semester. Just then, the main chat pings again. Professor Hodge has joined our meeting. I hope you're all getting on well. Your group is responsible for the creation of the website, but you'll be working in pairs on each section. Oh no. By the end of the project, I expect a fully functioning site built from the ground up. It's up to you how you delegate the responsibilities, but each pair must put in 50% of the work. I'll be assigning pairs who complement each other's style. I hold my breath. Please let it be Lucy, or even Warren. A word, Professor, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, sorry, Guillermo, but you'll have to wait for now. So, based on your personal preferences when it comes to coding functions, and your level of ability, of course, I'll be pairing Warren with Lucy and Julian with Guillermo. My head slams back against the headrest on my chair. Partnered with Guillermo for a full year? The professor must be punishing me for something. Please ensure you work well with your partner. 
After all, teamwork is the key to any successful venture. If you have any questions, you may contact me via email. Professor, sorry, could I just speak with you quickly? <laughs> nope. <laughs> even Professor Hodge doesn't even want to deal with Gilly Guillermo. <laughs> Amazing. Professor Hodge disconnects from the chat. For fuck's sake. Julian, I hope you know I'm not happy about this. Yeah, got that loud and clear, Guillermo. No worries, I'm not exactly thrilled to be working with you either. Um, guys, sorry, but Warren and I are going to start our own chat just for now. We'll catch up with you two when we have the first part done. <laughs> Warren. My private message dings again. It's Warren. Sorry, buddy. It's him, not you. <laughs> well, I mean, thanks, I guess. Yeah, I know. No hard feelings. Wish me luck, lol. You're gonna need it. <sighs> Sign I call Guillermo. There's no reason to use the group chat if Warren and Lucy don't participate. I'll spare them the vitriol. Damn, hello. I mean, you're looking very cool, I guess. He picks up the video call and glares at me. <laughs> what a waste of good looks. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, but da 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 damn. <laughs> I really want to run my hands through that hair. Woo-wee! Despite everything, I find myself wanting to run my hands through that thick, curly hair. I shake the feeling off. For God's sake, this is Guillermo! Ah. Look, Guillermo, I know you don't like me, but you've got to work with me, so let's just get this done, okay? Don't speak too soon. I'm emailing the professor right now. He's not going to change your partner. I doubt he'll even read your email. While I'm not working with you all year, my grades will never recover. You're so full of yourself, Jesus. Look, I'm gonna focus on the project, okay? Let me know when you're ready to stop being a child and get this done. Oof! Got him. I hang up in frustration. Stupid hot Guillermo. Guillermo doesn't message me again for the rest of the day. Thank God. How can someone who looks that good be that unbearable? As soon as class is done, I message Verdant. Somebody pleasant. Hey, Verdant, you hear? It only takes him a minute to reply. Yeah, what's up? God, I need to take a break and murder some corrupted bears. You up for doing your quest? Sorry, I can't right now. My brother just got home. He need you for something? It's complicated. Sorry. I can still chat for a bit, though. I just can't get involved in any big quests. Alright. Logging in, then. I load up the game and log in, finding myself in the Wits End Tavern, where I last logged out after the raid. It's a cool loading screen. Hello! Oh no, is this gonna be a, an instance where we, like, we don't know what Verdant looks like? This is, this is our only... <laughs> our only reference point! I love that. That's great. Verdant's character is here too, sitting at a table with a mug. I join him and forward slash grin. <laughs> I love it. His character is a burly paladin and our strongest healer. I play a sorcerer, so I'm always grateful to have him along with me on quest to keep me alive. For all the time I've known him, almost two years now, I still don't know what he looks like or even his real name. He's quite a private person. All I know is that he lives alone with his older brother, and is on Lost Heroes basically 24-7. Hey. Hey. 
Oh, if we don't get to see our character in game, that would have been cool. Rough morning class, then. You have no idea. The prof paired me with this complete jackass. And I have to work with him all year. Oh, man. Um. Hmm. I don't actually know what I should do here. Ah, uh, let's keep venting. I know. I was actually looking forward to this project, too. Jeez. What a bitch of a thing to happen in my first semester. I don't know what to say. Oh, good news, though. You know Casper, right? My roommate? You've told me about him. The actor-musician guy. Yeah, him. He's going to come play with us soon. Really? Yeah, we chatted about the game last night and he seems super into it. Think he's downloading it later today. You want to get in on teaching him? Could be fun. Definitely. It's always fun welcoming new guildies. Cool. I'll find out later when he's around and introduce you to. Sounds good. Oh, sorry, Elendy. I've got to go AFK for a bit. My brother's calling me. Back in a bit. No worries. I'm gonna go beat something up, lol. See you later. Whoa, these graphics, though. I spend the rest of the day helping a farmer clear his farm of a kobold infestation. By the time I'm done, it's well into the afternoon. I sit up and stretch languidly, wondering what to do next. Oh, who knows? Can you really find true love in an MMO? Really? Can you? Favor. Ooh, voices. You said you can't be a musician, an actor, and a gamer. What do you mean, what's up? <laughs> You're late to our first study session. You'll get there. We were all near one. Oh, that's fun. That's a lot of fun. Very cool! Oof, that blue hair one. My goodness. Blinding. Ooh, things are getting spicy. Very spicy. I like it. I like it a lot. There you go! Support us in Kickstarter! Yay! Want an early Steam key for Gilded Hearts, exclusive access to extra spicy content, cute physical goodies, and more? Then check out our live Kickstarter campaign! Every pledge gets us one step closer to making our dream for Gilded Hearts into a reality. There you go! And there's the credits. So there will be some voice acting in the full game, which is exciting. And yeah, that was Gilded Heart. So let me just double check, make sure I get the date correct for the Kickstarter. Otherwise, I'll be completely, completely wrong. Okay, so it's going until November 14th. There you go. That's about three weeks from now. So if you guys enjoyed what you saw here, then I would encourage you to go check out the Kickstarter. Looks like it's going to be a fun time all around. And of course, if you would like to check out the demo for yourself, I will have a link to that down below, as well as a link to the Kickstarter. So yeah, check those out. Give these guys some love. Thank you once again to Gallium Games for sending out uh, a key for the demo. I had a great time checking this out, and uh, I hope you get funded on Kickstarter. But that is it for me for right now, guys. Thanks once again for joining me, and until next time, I will see you later.